Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City, where we do our best to help you build wealth through investing in Oklahoma real estate. I want to talk today about, again, about interest rates. So I've talked about them being low and why you should buy and all that kind of good stuff. But why are rates so low right now? I mean, they are ridiculously low, uh, both for owner occupants as well as investors. And it's very simple. You know, you've seen what's come out of Congress. You've seen the CARES Act. You've seen the payroll protection plan uh, where we're helping support not only large businesses, but small businesses, individuals in terms of, you know, giving them a bridge over troubled water, giving unemployment benefits. But what has not been paid attention to that much is what the Federal Reserve is doing. Now, if I go back to after 2008, and I was, I've been a realtor for 30 years, so I remember 2008 extremely well, there was a thing called TARP, which was something that then President Bush decided to put out $700 billion in order to help Wall Street and large businesses. Now, there's a lot we can say about that, a lot we can talk about, a lot of controversy, but it was a pretty good amount of money at that time. Now, on the second part of that, the Federal Reserve was doing what they call quantitative easing, something that most of us hadn't seen. And that is where the federal government, the Federal Reserve specifically, prints more money, of course, makes sure that money is fluid and spending, but also buying back mortgage-backed securities and treasuries. The reason why they do that is the more that they've got to float to the private sector and the institutional buyer, the higher rates that they've got to give. And therefore, the federal government who borrows off those has to borrow at higher interest rates. So that's what they did. Now, what's going on right now is that squared times 10, I guess you could say, which is it's unlimited at this point. Let me give you an, an idea of what the Federal Reserve is doing to keep your rates down. Right now, and this is old stats, uh, probably at least two weeks old, the federal government through the Federal Reserve has bought back $2.2 trillion worth of mortgage-backed securities and treasuries. Now, that keeps your short-term rates low, so you can go out and buy your car uh, or get a loan, a business loan, but it also is long-term rates on Fannie Mae, things of that nature, so you can keep the rates low in terms of buying. So I've talked previously about you know getting rates in the threes with 25% down and one discount point. If you're an investor, even lower if you're an owner-occupant, it's crazy because it's so below the real rate of inflation. But get this, the Fed expects that, the Federal Reserve expects that it's gonna to get to $4.5 trillion in terms of buybacks fairly soon. Now, it's not just limited to $4.5 trillion. It can become even greater than that. They are going to do everything that they can to keep interest rates low through the rest of this year. That means two things. First of all, it means the Federal Reserve can do, or excuse me, the federal government through the Congress can maybe do that other $3 trillion, however they figure it out, to put that out there to help support the economy. It's important that they do that. And they can borrow back at almost zero. So it's very important that these rates stay low, but it's even more important to you because this is the time, if you're an owner-occupant, person, if you're looking for your first, second, or third house, whatever it happens to be, you got to take advantage of rates that could be like 2.9%, uh, mainly because that's fixed for 30 years. It's going to make you money. And the second thing is, is what I've said in other videos, this is the time. Time of crisis creates opportunity. And this is where people with money, people that have financial stability and reserves, are going to be buying stocks, they're going to be buying mortgage mortgages in terms of uh, investment properties because this is where money makes money in product. Money doesn't make money sitting there. You don't put it under your mattress, you don't even put it into a CD. If the real rate of inflation is seven and a half percent and you're making one and a half on a CD and you're paying taxes on that, you're losing money every year. This is why people buy these things now. These interest rates are not going to last. They can't last. It's not unlimited forever. It's unlimited now as a bridge over this troubled water that we have with COVID-19. It's the time to act if you have the ability to do so. We'd love to talk to you about this and help you financially in terms of creating that wealth position for you in conservative investments in Oklahoma 
at the end of the description of this video on YouTube, you're going to see a link to set up a Zoom meeting with me. I'd love to talk to you about the opportunities that are out there.